realized the moment I fell into the fissure that the book would not be destroyed as I had planned. It continued falling into that starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed. I must admit, however, such conjecture is futile. Still, questions about whose hands might one day hold my missed book are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet yet been written. Cypherboy here with a new game for the channel called Mist. I've seen this um, being played a lot lately, but what many people may not know is that this game is from 1995, I think. Uh, so, this is the type of game you need a notebook for because you need to write down all of the clues and everything. <clears throat> I'll probably do that. Um, watching the video back again I do have the strategy guide for it this guide is from 1995 but I'm going to try and play the game without looking at it so hopefully I can get everything uh, done correctly um, so we pretty much just explore the island and all of the worlds attached to the different um, things you see here like the library and the lighthouse and stuff like that um i have a lot of good memories playing the game um when i was in high school my freshman and sophomore years <clears throat> i took autocad and one of the things about five of us did maybe six or seven somewhere around that number is we sat at the teacher's computer and played this game um, almost every single class. He didn't mind as long as um, we got our work done. In this part, when I look through the books, hold on. Yes.
the two guys in the books are the brothers, and they're real life brothers, and they both uh, worked on this game. Um, so once I start going through the books here, you may want to fast forward it or speed up the video, or you can pause it and read everything that's in this in the book because it's world building. Um, I'm going to speed this part up a tiny bit so it's not taking up so long, uh, so much, so much uh, time. So as you saw, <clears throat> that took a lot of reading. I probably should have gone through each page maybe five seconds and then I could get the video finished uh, sooner. I'm sure a lot of people don't like uh, sitting through that. Um, I'll keep that in mind for future reference. Um, but it does have a lot of clues in the books and road building and stuff like that that's critical to knowing how the game works. One of these lighters, they should have 
uh, things leading out to, I think, uh, um, where, where it uh, looks out to the ocean or something, but the top, this part is not um, done the proper way. <clears throat> Anyways, as I was saying, as long as we got our work done in that class, we were able to sit at the computer and play this game along with another game called Connections, which is also pretty fun. Um, a lot of you probably haven't heard of that game either. Um, it's a game on CD. I do have both this one, Myst, and also Connections on CD. But this is the Steam version I have on my computer, as my laptop does not have um, the CD drive. My old one does, but it doesn't record very well because the recordings are always super slow. Now, I don't know why the picture shows up this way in a smaller um, frame uh, than full screen would. Because I did play the game in full screen, so I may have to go through the game options and uh, see if they can be changed. Because I did play this game in full screen, so I don't know why it turned out looking like this right here. But that's an issue for a future uh, reference for future videos. Hopefully I can figure that part out. So as you click on each of these, that opens up and then the main door closes on you. And then you have to click on the other picture to open up the main door and um, hide this area again. I did rotate the tower hoping it would work, but I guess it did not work because the wands were enclosed like they are here again, so there is a trick to it. I just have not figured it out yet. So after this, I'll probably start it. I have a lot of blank notebook paper, notebooks, um, spiral notebooks. And I do have graph papers, so I can do the constellations and such um, for future. I'll probably go through and watch the video again, um, pause it and handwrite everything onto the notebooks or into them. Um, I also have another uh, nice uh, memory of playing the game. I was still in the same grades, and my cousin went to my great-grandparents' house with his laptop. He was probably like 30, 40 years older than me, but he let me play this game because he had it on uh, his laptop. So I spent a little time at my great-grandpa's playing the game as well. So that was pretty fun. At the moment, there's not very much uh, to do except wander around and try to figure out um, how to power everything up because that's what the thing here is, is to power things up. That way you can go to the other worlds um, that's connected to the island and that's what the switches are for too. And this part has a bridge that goes across but of course there's no power to it so I'm just spending the video here trying to um, just trying to play around with stuff and figure things out. You do need a batch and I think wood for this part. Um, I'm going to end the voiceover now. I don't know how far along the speed up thing would be for the books so I'll see you later. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!